Today on IODP Expedition 318, Wilkie's Land. Exploring the history of Antarctica. Disassembling the first logging tool string and then uh, Kerry's going to rig up the second one and it's going to go down into the hole and measure the speed of sound waves and uh, collect images of the inside of the borehole wall so we can tell where all the drop stones are all the way down to the bottom of the hole and uh, fill in the gaps that were missed by the core recovery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's been a long night but uh, we're, uh, we're making pretty good progress and we got uh, two more runs to go. Probably oh. another uh, Maybe another 20 hours. We are logging. We have the experts here running the logs up and down, up and down. We don't have full recovery, so we need it to fill the gaps. And when you take out cores, they gonna decompress, so uh, you see in logging on the real time and the in situ conditions. We were taking a uh, downhole check shot measurement and we're using the, uh, the seismic gun in the water that you saw as the initial time period where we record the first uh, surface measurement and we're measuring from there until the actual waveform gets downhole at the tool. The check shot measurement basically allows to, uh, to get a time to depth uh, relationship which will help uh, tie not only the log data but also the, uh, the core uh, results into the original surface seismic that was taken years ago, possibly. 